Excellent. when Professor Sharp is so intimidating. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, Better not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Repetition can be an excellent teacher. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included.
What is the reason for these additional assignments, Professor? Then, before we plant the seed, when you're finished with... Here I come. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Place right out of a storybook. Revelio. Unicorn blood will keep you alive. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. Hasn't been anyone as bad as I that. never thought Ramrock's loyalists huh? would go this far.
I've always said that oh, travel to broadens the mind. Time. Rebellion. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? always open. You be sure to stop by soon.
I don't feel well. Then why don't you go and see Nurse Blaney? Yes. He'll come with you. Not a chance. Ugh. Boy, can you help me? Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Hogwarts has brought me and my siblings closer together. Rebellion.
Ah, my loss for a skeleton. I'm on the right track. Revelio. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is, in fact, warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine, unfortunately, took the shape of a... a... puff scheme. Ugh, well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt.